Hello and welcome back to Tools for Sparks where today we've got a tool battle between these two beautiful work lights. As you know if you watch our main channel Artisan Electrics we use Unilight work lights a heck of a lot. They're so handy when it comes to working in dark cupboards or lofts or underfloors and things like that. And as electricians, because we're always turning the power off, we do need some kind of backup source of light. So I'm gonna be comparing these two today. This one I've had for a while. This one is fairly new to me. And I wanna talk through the differences, the similarities, the things that I love about them, the things that I don't like so much, and just compare the two to see which one is the best. Between these two beautiful work lights, which one would I choose to pay my hard earned cash for? I'll let you know as we go along through this video. So grab a cup of tea, sit down, enjoy. But first, hit a like, subscribe, and let's go. So this is the Unilight IL925R. And it is what we'd call a kind of a pen light, basically. So you've got a light at the front here, you've got a light at the back here, and you've got a little light on the end here too. It's very solid metal, so it feels like really good quality. The on off button is here. So when you first turn it on, this light at the front turns on. If you press it again, it goes off. If you press it in succession, so you press that and then press it again, it goes brighter or it goes to the backlight, brighter, and then the pen light comes on. So depending on the sequence is, is what which light turns on essentially. Um, there you go. So it's pretty flexible because you've got essentially three different lights with the, the front and back have two different brightnesses, which is really nice. Now, the other thing about this is it's got a magnet. So if you're working next to the consumer unit, for example, you can magnetize it to the consumer unit and it, you know, position the light however you want. You can position it like that or like that. Angle it however you want. And if you want to just use it as like a torch, you can just shine it like that. So interesting product. What do I love about this? I love the fact that it's so small and compact. It can kind of just slot into your pocket quite easily, which is really nice. I love the fact that it's made of this kind of metal. Um, so it feels really good quality and really solid. And obviously it charges up quickly using a USB-C uh, connection there. That's pretty much standard for all uni lights, uh, but it is a feature that I love as well. It's just super easy to charge up. And obviously the magnet is a good feature too. To be honest, I never really use this backlight. I rarely use the little torch there. Usually I will use it in this format and I'll just magnetize it to something like the consumer unit or whatever. And I can see what I'm doing and it's really, really handy. But how does it compare to this one? So this is the Unilight SLR1000, and this is probably the first Unilight product that I ever tried. So back in 2018, I'm gonna say, I first came across Unilight products, and this was the first Unilight product that I ever tried. And I was a bit skeptical at first, because it, I don't know, it just kind of felt a bit plasticky, and I remember it getting really hot as well. And I was a little bit worried that it was gonna overheat or something. But the more I used it, the more confidence I got in this particular work light. And I've had it now for a long time. I did lose my first one, so this is not the original, but this work light is by far one of my favorites. And I'll tell you why. So what are some of the features? I do like the fact that it's got this stand that is flexible, clicks around. Now these are magnets. So again, if you're working on a consumer unit, imagine this is the top of your consumer unit. You can magnetize it to that and you can angle it however you want, you know, or anything metal. If you're working around anything metal, 
well, it easily magnetizes to that, which is fantastic. But the other thing that I really like about this is it's got the clip here. So you open that clip and you can hook it over something and just sort of hang it on to something, which again is a really nice feature because it just gives that extra bit of flexibility. At the end of the day with work lights, and let you know, unless it's a head torch, you don't really want to be hanging it off a part of your body. You want to be hanging it onto something that will hold it in place above where you're working so that you can see what you're doing. And the other cool thing about this is it's got this. So that is like your standard sort of tripod thread, same that you have for cameras, same that you have for your laser level. So you could screw this onto your tripod for your camera or your laser level, and that will just hold it, you know, on the tripod and you can angle it how you want and all that. So. Those features make it really easy to mount up in pretty much any situation that you want, which is really cool. Now, in terms of the actual lights, again, a USB-C connection on the side, which is great to charge it up. You've got a charging indicator on the back. These little uh, lights here, they light up to say whether it's full or empty. So if I turn it on, I can see that the, the battery is three quarters full. And that's it, basically. You press this button on the side turn off, turn on, and it is super bright. I mean, this one is brighter than this. It is very, very bright. And um, I think, well, it's an SLR 1000. It's a thousand lumens on full brightness. If you press it once and then again, it dims down. So that's probably 500 lumens. And then it dims down again to maybe like 250 and then it goes off. It does have a torch on the front as well. So if I show you that, if you press and hold it, then the torch on the front lights up and then you can use it like a normal flashlight kind of thing. Uh, but again, I very rarely use that function. It is useful in certain situations when you want to peer into a, down a pipe or something like that, it's quite useful. But in general, press and hold and it changes. In general, this is the one that I use. And I usually use it on full brightness. Um, and in terms of the battery life, it says on the back here, so it's four hours to 84 hours. So four hours would be on full brightness like this. And I can say that that is pretty accurate, to be honest, it does last very well. 84 hours would obviously be on the smallest brightness, which I very rarely use, but if you do want to preserve battery, why not put it on a slightly lower brightness setting? If you don't need a huge amount of light, then that could be a good option. It does get quite warm, you know, but it's just because it's such high powered LEDs, that is kind of normal. Having said that, I've never had any issues with it like burning out or, you know, causing any problems. It's just, it takes you by surprise a little bit because usually LEDs are quite cool, but this, because of how powerful they are, it does get quite warm, this kind of strip of cob LEDs that's inside it. Um, but it's just, what I love about Unilight products is that they're just so well designed. Now the guys at Unilight, they design products based on real world use cases you know they're not just engineers who've never been out to site and actually worked in the real life they're people who have worked out on site they know the kind of issues that we face and they design products to basically solve problems that we face as tradespeople and this is a classic example of that so what would i say between these two which is my favorite do I have a favorite? Um, if so, you know, which one would I spend my hard earned cash on first? It is a tricky one, to be honest, because quality wise, I feel like this is built better. Like it looks better. It feels like it's higher quality, but in terms of functionality, actually this one wins. And I use this almost every day when I'm working on site, gets me out of so much trouble and it's just so reliable. So I would say, to be honest, SLR 1000 is still my go-to. I would definitely spend my money on this one over and over again, but I would buy this one as well, to be honest, because it is so nice. It's just maybe slightly different. You know, this one's a bit more bulky. This one you can kind of fit in a small pocket. So there are different use cases for these two.
But anyway, either way, I would love to know all your thoughts in the comments below. And if you'd like to get yourself some of these, we have an amazing deal with Unilite where if you use our special discount code, you can get 25% off all of the Unilite products. So head to the link in the description where you can get that amazing discount. Um, and if you have enjoyed this video, it really helps if you hit thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so already because it is free and you'll get regular video updates from us. But either way, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Have a great day.